Shawty, what's your name? Is I'm very glad you came in. You know that I'm famous. You better jump up on this. Put that thing up on me. We freaking till the morning. I swear, man, like the worst part. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how I achieved this beautiful bob. I actually made this video a long time ago like the clip you're going to see after this i made it a long long time ago but i wasn't confident with the hair at that time so i never posted the video but now i have confidence in my process of how i achieve this color and so if you would like to see how i achieve this color and this cut from what it used to be which i'm going to show you right here then stay tuned so this is my hair in its natural state, so I'm just brushing it out. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pack the hair at the back. You guys have probably seen a whole lot of bob tutorials, but this is just how I do mine. So I'm doing basically the same method. So I pack it in the back and then I take my shears or my scissors and I start cutting in an upward motion. It was kind of hard because I couldn't see, so I didn't really get the effect that I was going for, but you guys get the idea. I worked with it. So what I'm doing is I'm basically just cutting layers into the hair. So I'm just going through at random parts and just taking my little sheer scissor thing and cutting layers at different parts of the hair. And then I'm going to take my thinning shears. I'm going through the hair and just thinning it out at different sections. And this is just going to make sure the hair isn't as bulky as it used to be. It did have four, I did use four bundles to create this wig. So it was kind of thick once I cut it. And then I'm just going through and I'm just thinning the ends so it doesn't look so blunt. And I'm cutting more layers in. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bleach my hair and I'm mixing my bleach, which is the Kaleida Colors Blue Bleach thing with the 30 volume developer from Clairol. And I'm just going to mix that to a consistency that I like. I do like to mix mine a little bit thicker, not watery, so that it doesn't just run all over the hair. So then I'm going to go ahead and apply the bleach all over the hair. I didn't have enough bleach, so I did skip some areas. But in this next clip, you will see the areas that are bleached and the areas that are still dark that didn't get enough of it. And it did create a variation in color that I really liked at the end. So here I'm just applying the color to the hair. I used the texture and tones and I forgot what color it is. So I'm going to leave it down in the description bar below. And I put that all over the hair. So I did mix some of the textures and tones with the violet from the Adore collection. Just to get, just to get some darker parts and some lighter parts in the hair. I'm sorry you guys, I did lose the clips of the colors and the names of the colors that I used. So I will leave all of that down in the description bar. So then I'm going to wrap the hair inside foil. And then I'm going to put it under a hooded dryer to process faster. So I left it for about an hour and then I went to rinse it out until the water ran clear. So, so here I'm just defining my part and then I'm going over it with my curling wand just to make it flat. And the hair did look fine just like this. I actually really liked how it looked like a wavy bob, but I decided to go ahead and straighten it. And this right here is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you liked the results and you try this out for yourself at home. I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you guys think let me know if you want more hair videos um, on my channel like how to hair videos on my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel make sure you do so before you leave this video please do so and yes I will see you guys in my next video bye and God bless